All right, we're not complaining now. We're back. The three not. of us, the four of us, we're back. Question is, will I be uh, disappearing for 10 minutes? We'll find out. Okay. Who are you, Mokan? I'm Mokan. I'm Mokan. I'm Pease. Um, don't vomit in an Uber. It's very expensive. We're not doing the whole Spartacus. I am Mokan. Hey, Mokan. I am Mokan. I am Mokan. <laughs> I thought you were getting it. And no. I, am I, was, I didn't actually hear what you said. I was listening. And I am Francois Delorier. Nice. Well <laughs> nice. done. Nice. All right. Someone's had a little sugar. You go. It's not our fault. It's Ego Swap. I know. Francois Delorier asked me once. Uh, what my fi- my now fiance sees in me because I have no redeeming qualities. <laughs> yeah, I love him. I love it was him. the funniest thing I'd ever heard he about him. myself or anyone else. He's the best guy in FPF. Yeah. Ah uh, no. Name me two people. Though. How many people wear bandanas like he does? Um, uh, most Crips and Bloods. Yeah. Kevin Kusai. <laughs> He wears it in the wrong place, though. Oh, yeah, man. Like Zana wears so it in the wrong place. So tell me two I was people. I at him actually, like Dana, when I saw it. Two names. Two names that are better people. De François Delorier. De François Delorier. Um, I went, it went, this is with Div 6 to start with. And any division. No, no, this is Div 6 podcast. Okay, so you're Stay saying. Local, bro. So you're saying. saying there's at least two better in Div 6. Fourth to 20 guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with Jason Dra- Dracia. Yeah. Dracia. Yeah. I should know how to say it because I'm Italian. Jason Dracia. Um, and I'm going to say. That's a good choice. Frank Colatrella. Uh, Frank Colatrella's a nice guy. He is. But François Delorier is also... I'm also waiting for the beat to drop, Mo. I know. There's a little musical thing going on. Boop, 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 boop. See, you're out there playing checkers. We're conducting or- orchestras up in here. Chess now. All right. No, no. Let's uh, dive into it. Orchestra, bro. What's, what's more... Orchestra. <laughs> what's I got more the advanced? strings up in here. Someone's still uh, hungover from their... Can you yes. play chess, Mo? <laughs> Sorry? Can you play chess? I used to play chess in high school. Were you terrible. any good at it? No, I'm not surprised. I kept, I kept. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what though? Because I only, I only started, started to play it right. But obviously, it's just, a, it's a thinking person's game, right? You gotta be thinking two steps ahead. That's which, my point. Yeah. <laughs> I so used to, I used to take the horse and and position the bishop to make it look like the horse had a giant penis. Because horses are well hung. Yes, they are. They are. So Mokan is very good at a lot of things, <laughs> just not chess and the stock market or thinking. No. All right. So let's talk <laughs> about uh, the week that was, because now we're in the final yes. stage of the season. Thank God, week ten is done. There's week eleven left. It's not done yet. Mokan. I'm done. We talked about it yesterday. Well, week ten is it done. ends tonight. No, it's done. Okay. It's done. Fine. It's done. Week eleven is now upon us. It's true. All the and, games we can. And uh, for podcast, six though. and six D, we'll have the playoff. Display on our screen soon enough. I hope Eagle. Mm. Do we end the week or do we start the week? We, we end start the, week the week. With the podcast. I think we start the week. No, start we start the week. week Eagle. Tie breaking vote. What's the question? Do we, do we start the week or do we end, end the week? Week. Uh, week start on Saturday, so we're ending the week. No, yes. We start on Sunday. No, we I was start. Right. We're previewing. We're recapping and previewing the oh, week. Oh, you mean FPF week start on Saturday? Yes. But that's also what I'm saying. Nah, it doesn't. Um, regular so calendar the, weeks don't end so on the articles, Thursdays. So then the articles end the week. Well, yes, but... Because they come on Fridays. Well, they're supposed to. <laughs> Unless you're peas. <laughs> or I, li- I, really give, I really lead a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> or me this season. I've been t- uh, editing articles on like Saturday yeah. afternoons. All right, so let's talk about the week that was. Because since we're now ending the week on week 10. Yes. Here. So 660, we're down to the final uh, turn of games coming up here. Turn the week that turns. was. Uh, what caught your attention, gentlemen, from this past week's games? Big game in 6D. BDR beats Real Bros of Simon Valley. It's a big game because BDR now is still on, in the playoffs. Real Bros of Simi Valley are with a clinch with a win. Mm-hmm. Loss keeps BDR alive. And Real Bros of Simi Valley are, I wouldn't say in danger of not making the playoffs. We'll talk about it a little, more, a little bit more later. But, I mean, it's the sort of game they should have been able to win. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's a game where both the teams w- should have been able to win because uh, both of the offenses are... Uh, what's another word for putting sugar in an IV? Refining. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, that, those are the offenses. Yeah, they, Vince they, they Romano played well, strong. man. Like BDR, Vince Romano, 13 for 21, 218 yards and five touchdowns. He had 230 yards in the like, yeah. total. It's, no, it's that's good, it. like, man. But it's, it's, it's the kind of game where like, wo- like a team's going to go off because there, it's two weak teams, right? Oh, okay. That's what you, you know mean. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So it's not a representative sample of their seasons, but... Both they're gonna, they're yeah. gonna ha- finally have a chance to put up numbers, and and both offenses did. Both well, offenses listen, did. I like to see te- 
the games go 33 31. Yeah, like it's, it's more a, interesting. It's a more interesting game. It's more high scoring. Both quarterbacks play better. I'm sure everybody involved in those games, too. And Jesus, more on. It's a clock. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Everybody in <laughs> Oh, boy. A couple of noises come out here. I can't work with these people. <laughs> Yes, anywho. You're saying? Anywho. I like, this is the kind of game I like to see in Division 6 six and 6D. It's a high-scoring game where a lot of guys get involved. You know, like all together, seven guys at touchdowns. It shows what FPF really is more about than games that finish, you know, 9-7. to seven. Yeah. A uh, game that caught my attention, hurricane season in the pack. Yes, and sir. I was dead wrong about the pack winning this football game. as the <laughs> hurricane <laughs> season. I don't but worry. What, like, so here's the thing. I, I heard that... Um, What's wrong with you? I look. I was trying to go. <laughs> like, I'm trying to pick the Cinderellas now, man. I'm trying to go with the no name teams here. Okay, but like, and like, yes. What what if, what if Cinderella had an accident the night before and can't go to the prom? I would ask that question if you just someone stopping. <laughs> What's wrong with everyone today? Why are we dying? Seriously, <laughs> we're all sick. I'm sick too. Like, so Cinderella, Cinderella's Cinderella's in a body cast. She can't go. To the, she can't go to the dance. dance. Well, uh, and uh, take her anyways on your back. Let's go. <laughs> Step and, uh, it up, Cinderella. And, uh, Gordon, wake up. Drop your shoe. <laughs> and uh, Thomas Gordon told me, "Hey, nice pick, uh, Hurricane season over uh, the pack." I go, "Did I pick the, you guys? No, you picked the pack over us." I go, "Oh yeah, you're right. I picked the pack over." So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a thing that I. I'm because I'm not Mokan and I have strong Achilles. Um, oh wow! I I'm gonna do a thing where look, I was wrong. I was wrong 100 about? about Hurricane season. I thought their season was going to fall apart because the competition was so tough that they were just going to they were going to win like two or three games and and not be able to compete and not make the playoffs despite having a very good team because the schedule got was so hard and then you know when you get behind the eight ball you're zero and three zero and four and then like the, the season sort of give up, just yeah. gets away from you that's the season I thought we would see from Hurricane season but they've shown the opposite they've shown remarkable resilience and is it that's four four games in a row they've won. Like yeah, my my hurricane you know, season coming out that, there. Honestly, like your hurricane season, stop. I may stop. I I may have to see them at some point in the playoffs. And given all the fodder that I gave to start the season, I'm not happy about that. They're, they're a good team. They're they're, they're a good, very good team. team. And now and now they're tested. <laughs> and they're well, and they're proving we, we that they're worthy of these tests. We right? all agreed around the table preseason that they were one of the strongest teams. They should have been. Stronger. They should have been the strongest. One of the strongest teams did not perform that way. So they were, we are all sort of agreed well, that we had to see how Bradley down. Perron would improve a quarterback through the season. He's improved, and I think one of the reasons, one of the things that's actually helped him improve is he's risen to the challenge of these tough games he's had to play all season. Yeah, for, it helps. Like at the end of the season, when you're in the playoffs and you've been doing these do or die games for the past five e- five weeks, you're not taken by surprise when you're down, you know, twenty one at eight twelve at halftime. Yeah, like you've been there before. It's fine. We'll be all right. Whereas teams, when you've you're nine and one and you've been leading games by two scores the entire season, when you're down for the first time ever, uh, things sort of get I, away. I have one back. question for you guys, though. Is it a concern for Hurricane season that Baden Perron has about I don't know eighty two percent of the total production <laughs> offense? Yes and no, because th- we know that other guys on a team can't perform. It's now just a question of Bradley Perron. Can't, can't get to Brandon. Um, who's the next guy? Like, is he comfortable make, making that second and third read? Because yeah. the next guy, the highest receiving total on, on this roster beyond him is at one seventy six. Who is but, it? But and that is none other than Brandon Picard. But, like, it's, but it's they so have like, players though. Like the, 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 the roster is the roster is pretty deep. The team's good. He just he doesn't use other guys. But, so, but but I think most to, to most point is like like I don't know if the the question was phrased. Do they not have the talent? Because I don't think that's the case. No, no I'm saying does, can he use? Does he know how to use the talent other yeah. than Brandon Picard? Because if he uh, stops, Brandon, uh, if you take him out of the equation, you have a big hole in your offense. And who's going to be that second and third option? Because in the playoffs, guys, we always talk about that superstar player. But it's not always the superstar that makes that big play. It's but always that no name guy that comes. Can up he be stopped though? in the clutch? Like, yeah. it's, we've had this, this sort of this discussion with Max Burrow with Vic in the Box a few seasons ago, saying, hey, "Can you stop Max Burrow? Who is the next guy on that team?" But you can't. He's going to put up 10 catches for 150 yards and through three touchdowns every week. At the end of the day, it doesn't... Okay, break. but like if he's if he's manned up with a guy, let's say, like Benji Ziegler, who's as fast, who yes. can get, go up and get the ball, like, but, what happens? But will but he might be able to still put up numbers, though. Yeah, but will he put... The, like, so yeah, instead of 10 I catches, see. he has five. Instead of three touchdowns, he has one. Yeah. It changes the game. Of course. Um, I saw a big, huge defensive stand by Pension Plan. Zero points allowed. 
Oh, it's phenomenal. <laughs> Dominant force, man. Dominant force. Steel curtain against that uh, yeah. tough It's almost as if the uh, Zone 6 Ballers' We're offense weren't on the field. For the fourth time it, it was so bad that it felt like... Uh, I can't believe that like, it's been e like years. Yeah. We finally institute a fine for, for, for uh, teams that don't show up. And, and that's when this happens. And this is and season and people don't show up. All I have to do is insert the straight cash on me. Straight <laughs> cash on me. Unknown uh, talent, though. They're back. They beat Strang uh, uh, Scranton Stranglers. Yes. That's big for them, though, because they, if they lost, they would have been in that conundrum of teams trying to fight for the last spot. So that's Eagle. Uh, sorry. I just wanted to jump in with something I know about you're really the hurricane season stuff. So yeah. I know we've been talking about all oh, their schedule is hard and everything. Um, we updated our tooling to check the schedules and strength and everything. They, in Division 6, are, have the hardest schedule. Their opponents are averaging a 61% win rate. That's insane. But we were also saying like it's not just yes their schedule is hard, but they also dropped a few games early, right? Yeah. Like, they had games where they lost by a point or two early in the season that, you know, you turn those into the wins, and now you're staring at a you know yeah, like five and three record instead yeah. of you know two and five, and you're so yes their schedule was tough, but it's also they downplayed the first few weeks. So when talent's back, yeah. Uh, the key seems to be uh, Nicky Farinacho. When he's there, their the team's unstoppable. Yes. When he's not there, they're a good team. They're still good, but the problem with unknown talent is when everybody's there, they scream at each other. When they play with five, they're happy because they don't get to scream at each other. Yeah. They don't uh, step on each other's toes, I guess. Underrated defense here. They have two games left. They could, in theory, make it up to third if they win out the rest of the schedule here and with the hot sauce sports uh, at seven and three. Well, no, but the division winners take the top yes, four Yes, I know, but in terms of the overall, because they can, they have two more games left. They win those two games, they're at seven wins, which yeah, we're could. In, we're not in the same subdivision. It's not hot sauce. But I'm talking about the overall. What? Unknown talent. I'm also very confused. Yeah? You said, but you said hot sauce sports. We're not, it's not relevant. They're seven and three. You guys are seven and three. Yeah, but we're different divisions. But I know, I know. I'm just saying that the overall division right now I meant like as a but whole, so, like so the third best team in Division 6. Are you pretending conferences don't exist? Yeah, yes. the conferences still exist. Like I you know. need to win your conference to be top three. I know. I don't think, I don't, I, I don't know that. You. Yeah, I know you meant the third okay, best record. So you record. know, but you don't care. Yeah. Okay, he, he, didn't mean <laughs> he didn't mean seeding, he meant record. So the third best record in yeah. Division, not the third best seeding. Exactly. Because they could get two oh, more man. wins and end up at seven and three. Just, and this you, is statistically you significant uh, because... <laughs> so so <laughs> the thing is... To most point, they can win their subdivision. Yeah, is I believe what he's trying to say. Wow, well, um, that's funny. To me. But it doesn't have anything to do with hot sauce <laughs> sports. <laughs> they then they just need to beat Hurricane Season and Goon Squad, um, and uh, because they have the tie break against Dog Pound, I believe. Uh, Eagle, double check that for me. And no, they don't have the actually. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think they don't can. No, they can't. The they can't. They can't win a division. They no, can't they can't. I'm saying that they can get to seven wins. That's the whole point, though, right? I'm <laughs> saying the overall <laughs> context. He doesn't let go. But they can't. Like, let go. For but what purpose would they, they need seven they wins? They can't be third. I, I know, but. The wait. highest they can be is like fifth if there's a three way tie. If it's a two way tie, there's sixth because we have the head to head. At that point, Hot Sauce Sports becomes relevant in this one specific scenario. He <laughs> <laughs> was so confused. Okay, moving You're, on. I'm confused. Moving on. I want to talk about this game. I don't. Everyone knows here. I don't like blowouts, but this is bad. Which one? B ballers, shots or semen. How do you put up 72 points against somebody? Uh, very good against not very good. I, I know, but like, when do you stop scoring? <laughs> Never. Because they scored 35 in the second half. Like that's I, five touchdowns. Like at what point did you say? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, boys, man, I'm not gonna run this one back in. I'm, I'm uh, I don't need two pick sixes. In this <laughs> that game. was entirely necessary, by the way. We absolutely need to clarify. Simo, that was five touchdowns. Five touchdowns. Half. Oh, oh, were, no, what does PG say all the time? How many touchdowns do you need to win a football game? Five. Five. They yeah, won the football the game. There, there were eight passing touchdowns and two pick defensive sixes. touchdowns. Yeah. So ten total. <laughs> and they put up 72 points. So, the so they went for two multiple times. <laughs> Six out of ten times. <laughs> <laughs> it's brutal. Like in the second half, or was there, or was there six safeties? No, but uh, or maybe safeties. But there's only one sack, so it's very improbable. <laughs> <laughs> but in the second half, you scored 35. In most defense, you did ask, "How do you score 72 points?" He said, five touchdowns." Five touchdowns. Second, half. second half, man. 35 but even, points. Sorry, we're bad with Bach out the area so today. <laughs> I'm just curious though, because we have a 35 point rule to kill the game well, in the, the referee second half. can tell the team that's losing by 30 yeah, okay, so you no. go into the second half already the score is 37 to 12 
<laughs> right? But you you're can, down 25 points. Yeah, but you could say Within no. 10 minutes, this game's over. But you're like, no, let's play. Yeah, well, I mean, why not? I did, Sasha Siemens out of the playoffs. And so what's like what's the point of leaving? Like it, yeah, like unless it, they're being nice about it. That's fair. Honestly, like I know that we have that rule. Referees have asked me in, in games where we're either blowing out or getting blown out, and it was like, "Do you guys want in the game?" I well, I'll always take the plays because why not play a couple more downs of football? If, if well, it's like contentious, if there's yeah, no yeah, yeah, it yeah. depends. It depends. If guys are being you know they're being Pricks. dicks and whatever. Hence where I said different. if they're not being yeah, contentious. If if the game is you know the way I've seen B ballers play this season, they're nice guys. I don't see why the game shouldn't go on. Now maybe don't run back the touchdowns, or you know. <laughs> no, but it's not their stop. To, it's not their job to stop themselves. No. But again, if you throw eleven completions for eight touchdowns, yeah, they That's either you were at QBR. the one or these these guys can't tackle. Gold Rush, Something. Ooh, yeah, big game, man. one of the best teams we've not noticed because they started pretty bad. Uh, it's their quarterback, man. I'm but they've you. won now four in a row. I'm, Jake, I'm telling you, five Jake, in a row. Jake Five. Star yeah. is a star, and he misspelled his he's name. He's so good, man. It's supposed to be two R's, not with one R. He's so good, man. He, uh, he has two. There was two. Yeah. We fixed it. Oh, oh yeah. we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. Thank God. Live on the show, I believe. Yeah, you said fix it, please, and Eagle did. Yeah, all right, perfect. <laughs> Jake you were star. here. Yeah, you I, asked me. <laughs> I didn't know you did it. You didn't say, "Hey, my fixed it." I did. I said, "Done." <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Yeah, because he's clearly worried about the seven and three record, and, what three record. Means. <laughs> <laughs> and how and how a team can finish in third place, which is impossible. No, but for real, like I don't. So, so this is what I don't understand about Gold Rush. So Gold Rush has a very good defense. The players on that team individually are very talented. Mm-hmm. In this case, they got two defensive touchdowns at twenty-four points. Yeah, that's by itself it's impressive. When I saw them, they looked like the guys that care the less about FPF I've seen in Division Six ever. The least, sorry. Yeah, they 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 sh- they'll go up like six nothing, because and I'm not here to lose, but we don't need to put up fifty. So they go up six nothing, and then they'll just fuck around, and then six six. Okay, we'll score again. Like on the last play last week, two weeks mm-hmm. ago, they played against um, Lionheart. yes, Lionhearts. The Eagle was there. They played against Lionhearts. Last play of the game. That's been the first after the game was tied. The quarterback in the huddle. I heard him say. Let's score. I don't want to go at halftime down like equal to these guys. Mm-hmm. And he made probably the, the toughest throw I've seen all season, all divisions combined. And I was like, okay, this guy could actually really play football. Like he's just here digging around. Yeah. Um, DGC, however, on the other side, they score zero points. Surprised by that? Yeah. yeah. And I was kind of going to ask, like, so what happens now with DGC? Like, what? Because I expect them in 6D to do very, very well. Well, we week three, we said these guys are the number one team in Division 6D. Yeah. They, they, they might they, not make playoffs. They pull a dud right now. Well, they might not make playoffs. Yeah. Sean Martin, three interceptions. No, like, no scores. Like 40 evangelistas on this team. He's We know what he's doing. He's installing the Joey Taylor system, mm-hmm. which helps everyone get better. Except Sean Martin. Eh, There's also a, a, a star there. We'll talk about it in the three broadcast. Okay, but there's it also hel- another quarterback. It doesn't work quick. It, it helps everyone get better. Why hasn't it worked for Sean Martin? It takes time, though, right? Because you're, you're asking an inexact offense to be perfected by someone who's not familiar with how to do it. Maybe Fortis is not doing it right. So it's his fault. Yeah, maybe he's not. You need Joy Taylor it right. to install it, though. Yeah, so they should cut fo- what they gotta do. Cut, cut Forty Joy- Taylor. Uh, cut Forty. Fire the OC. Fortis. And 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 then they can add Joy Taylor. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. The you know who's on Hall of Famer? <laughs> Forty evangelists. <laughs> facts. I'm just dropping facts. Just dropping uh, facts. Forty. I think. No, thing, bro. I think it could be both ways. I think it could be that he's trying. Like he, he came in in the first place to help the defense out. They've done that. Their defense is much better. Their offense doesn't work. And I think either because he's not teaching it right, because he never actually played quarterback for that team, so he's never been, you know, under center actually seeing what quarterbacks are going to see. Like, Whereas, so that, that could be. That's it. That's interesting actually because. I know that when I when I've helped teams, and I just gave them plays, they then didn't know how to execute the plays. Yes. So I then when now what I do is I send a picture of play, and I send a description of if you see this, this do is this. what's going to happen, this, and this, this is what generates. Some people they say it's cool, right? Some people visually understand it easier than say when it's done verbally or written on the blackboard. So it can yeah. be one of those. Yeah, things. and then there's some people that are Simon who never learn. Yeah. But you also need to sort of be there to sort of. So I see. I understand what you mean, but I need to experience it myself before I can actually really understand it. Mm-hmm. Right? Like it's easy to say if A happens you do B, if B happens you do C. But it's different in a game when, you know, the rush is coming and you have to do the same 
Well, just reading a field is a skill in and of itself, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you give them a playbook, it. you can tell them how to run the playbook, but then you don't necessarily and, and, know what you're looking and, for. And you're right. And, and the thing is, like, that that system is very heavily reliant on you making the right decision and the right read. You're right. That, it's, that's it's a good a point. Mental, it's a mental Thanks, visualization. Thanks, guys. We figured it out. Of course. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's talk about the playoffs, guys. Um, you want me to go through the list? Yes, unless we have the visual up on the screen. We, we don't have that. First. No, okay, I was going to do through the playoff list. Okay, we'll do this so, first. So the list, the way it works is, uh, I don't know if you could see it because you're colorblind. I'm sorry. It's mm. not a disc. It's, it's all the vaguely so, the same difference so, of gray. So everybody that's Thank in green you. means they've clinched the playoffs and they will be in the playoffs this season. But uh, PC can't see that. That's what. That's why I'm describing it. Eagle pointed the three shades of gray. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so everybody good. that's in red are officially em- el- eliminated yeah. from the playoffs. And everybody that's in gray are still playing for are still in contention for a playoff spot so we know that only eight teams make it in if you're in gray it means you still have a shot at making it into the the top eight right yes so in the case of conference b for instance for division six there's only two teams left in gray fat diablos in the pack the reason is they play each other winner makes it in loser is out should that be uh game of the week i also want to point out that's not how the teams are ranked in actuality because again oh no (laughs) conference a and b okay i see my mistake so so, uh, for replacements in TBA, regardless of what happens this week, they've been officially eliminated. For everybody in green, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. You, it will affect seeding, but you will make playoffs. Mm. And we know in an FPF, well, Division 6 is a little bit different because you might be related to Re- Division Re- 6. Relegated. or, But overall, you'll still make playoffs. You'll still get a Week 12 game. right? Yeah. Um, Simon, yes. just now that I'm looking at this in detail, yes. Fat Diablos and the pack. They play each other. I understand. The pack can't get in. Yes, if they win. How? Because they'll have the same record as Fat Diablos who are record. in. Ninth the numbers feet. the numbers don't work. What? Yeah, they're they're eighth and ninth if you look on the website. Yeah, Fat Diablos is three six three five and one. The pack's two six and one. So the tiebreaker would go to the pack if they were to win yeah. the head to head. Right, but right now Hurricane Season is holding the eighth seed at five and four. No. Nine, nine teams make it from... Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, hold on here, hold on here. Uh, third place subdivision, huh? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, uh, that's what so I Fat Diablos are Dude, currently in. Dave, I know you're watching. This is why I wanted that threshold line. <laughs> so yeah. so Fat Diablos is in at the moment. The pack is not. Yeah. Winner makes it in, loser's out. As simple as that. And Conference A, it's a little bit different. If you want to break it down, please. Conference A. Um, let's see. So NWO... As we see, can clinch with a win or a loss from Green Monster, uh, or, or two losses. Sorry, or two losses from Sharknado. Sorry, please. If I stand correct, though, NWO is four and five, right? Correct. Green Monster is at three and six, so Green Monster can't catch NWO for that spot. So should NWO be clinched? They can. Yeah, one win. They can. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. My bad. Uh, seven rounders can clinch with a win or a loss from either Green Monster or Sharknado. You're welcome. By the way, we beat Sharknado yesterday. <laughs> Good game, by the way. It was a fun game. Yeah. Fun game. Very, con- very, uh, very back and forth. Green Monster uh, could clinch with a win and a loss from Sharknado and uh, less points against. But Sharknado who? is in a is in a premium spot because you have two games to play yep. in, on the weekend. It's in the next week, so they have a little bit of wiggle room. They, to they lose. brought they, they brought they brought a uh, a ringer this week. They brought Kevin Marshall. By the way, Kevin Marshall's very fast. Yes, he is. Oh my god! Yes, I know. Jesus Christ! Been, so in the case of good. Sharknado, since they have two games left and they only technically need to win one to make it in. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like the the they sort of old all the cards. Is everything's gonna revolve around what Sharknado happens? If they lose the first game, then it opens up like the floodgates for like. Green Monster to get in or NWO or even seven and so rounders. Are, are fat, fat Diablos in the pack playing each other this week? Yes. Yeah. So that's why. So e- no, that that's a play-in game basically. Yeah. That's, when that's, you're yes, in. That's what I said. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why we treat it sort of differently yeah. because it's Conference B. The seedings are yeah. right. We sit per conference and not to- per division. So I'm like thinking out loud. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> for them, it's a playing game. For the other one, we'll see what happens with Sharknado and what ha- what's going to happen with Green Monster. If Green Monster loses. Then everybody's like, they're out, and the rest of the, the other three teams are in, and it's just going to be seeding. Goon Squad, you guys are done. Have a nice yep. end of the season. Same with uh, replacements in TBA. Zone Six Ballers, the hell with you. I don't mean, come they're, back. they're out because they missed out. The <laughs> um, no, man, don't. I, honestly, if I see them register for spring, I'm going to lose my mind. Like, you ruined the season for a bunch of teams. I know. No, you ruined don't. the division. Yeah. Because it's it's not fun. Like, hey, you pay to play these. Like, uh, the opponents pay to play these games. Yep. Secondly, like guys are in contention for awards and whatever may not get to the, the opportunity to put up the numbers to compete for those awards. 
because they miss out on a game, it, it's annoying. It, it's, it's, I it's, agree. No, and like sure. Simo's not going to do the work to, to see, hey, did a team play against some six ballers? To it's see? All, yeah, cause, <laughs> you know? Because it's six forfeits, right? It's not just yeah. one. So if it was it's just, if just one forfeit, it doesn't if it's okay, one, it happens, whatever. Yeah, if it's one forfeit in the, in the season, then you could look and say, so it affected two teams. Yeah, you guys are jerks. But now it affects two many Zone teams. Zone six jerk faces. It, it, How about that? How about that? Uh, by the way, Diablos play the pack in Lachine Sunday night, 9 p.m. So that's a big one. That should well. be game of the week. There's only, I think, across all divisions, there's only four playing games. Yeah. Uh, 6D. Let's look at that right now, guys. And who's in, who's out. Uh, the Greens. Who's in for a so conference A? The only two teams that are out at the moment, it's South Shore Seaman and Lionhearts. Everybody else is in, still in contention. Uh, the four teams in contention in Conference A, uh, Real Bros of Simi Valley, because they lost this week, are still having clinched yet. Past our prime time, Dirty Birds and BDR. BDR with that win over uh, Real, Bros, Simi, Real Bros of Simi Valley are actually keeping it in. And on the other side, DGC, like we said, they were the favorite. Now they're, they could technically fall off is uh, against Chocolate Barracudas and... Sorry, it's too far for me to read. You have it on your screen. I do not. Yes, but I don't have the screen open. You can easily correct that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, but I read something else. So, Rosedale Renovations is the other team. Sorry. DG, DGC could, could clinch with a win from Rosedale yep. uh, and Chocolate Barracuda. So, DGC clinches if they win or if they lose and Rosedale Renovations win. But since they lost the head-to-head against Chocolate Barracudas... So, this is one of the funny situations where DGC, Rosedale Renovations, and Chocolate Barracudas are fighting for two of the three seeds. But the, if it's a three-way tie, then Chocolate Barracudas are out. But if it's a two-way tie, Chocolate Barracudas have the head-to-head against yeah. GCC. And the Barracudas are playing the Tigers on Wednesday night. So it's going to make for a very fun end of the season because depending on who wins and who loses, it's going to jump around. So DGC could actually... If all these all, t- all three teams win, Chocolate Barracudas will be out. But if DGC wins and then uh, Roselle Renovations win, th- uh, and then sorry, Chocolate Barracudas win... They'll be out. But I feel bad for for, for Barracudas because you're playing a Tiger team that's still in play to perhaps finish the and one. If, and and, and, and Fighting Tigers right now are being promoted to Division 6. Absolutely. So if they want to compete for the Division 6 championship, this is a big game for them. Yeah, exactly. They need to win that if, if they want to have a chance yeah. to compete for that. So they, they, there's a lot more for them on the line. Yeah. For their, uh, they're going to the playoffs. The question is where they'll end up in the whole uh, bracketology of where they're going to end well, up. Well, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll cover that uh, now. I'll yes. cover uh, what's going, what's happening that uh, in terms of the uh, the rankings and which teams are being promoted and relegated. Uh, we don't have a graphic here because nobody proofread it, even though I asked. Uh, we'll, you ego. well, technically, you said it to the wrong chat. So do I. I mean, all of us do actually. So Congratulations. So yeah, so we're all gainfully employed. Th- the problem is you send it to the writers' chat and not. Yeah, you're in that chat. Uh, yes, I, I, I saw it and I said wrong. I wanted to say wrong chat, but I figured you, you and Marc Andre de Lodier are in that chat. <laughs> Reddit, Reddit. It, but I decided. Peruse through it. Um, Red, I it. keep opening the wrong document. <laughs> <laughs> As you buy stuff. So, anyways, conference, uh, conference A, the funny part is since BDR on, uh, still has two games left and just one. Simo, shut up. I found it. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> uh, the top four teams. Uh, man, okay. So, Marc Andre screwed that one up. Uh, let me just go to this. So it might be wrong. <laughs> Let's just do right, that. So, so we'll Dirty Laundry, wrong. Dirty Laundry Warriors, Wicked Box, Dog, Dog Pound. They're the four subdivision leaders. Yes. So they occupy the top four seeds. Yes. Uh, Hot Sauce Sports, Channel Four News Team, D Two Vultures. Those are the top eight. So those teams right now, if the playoffs were today, those are the top eight teams in Division Six playoffs. Teams being relegated to Division Six D would be Hurricane Season. Oh, no, wait, sorry. I won't do that. I'll, I'll do the teams are getting promoted instead. The teams being promoted are B-Ballers, McDo, Los Siete Amigos, and Fighting Tigers. So like I was saying, Fighting Tigers, yeah. they had a huge win this week to propel them into Division 6 playoffs. Which the, with the way they started the season, none of us would have predicted that. But any of these teams like locked as the first seed? Uh, B- B-Ballers and McDo, basically they're locked as one team. Cool, in whichever order, it's basically. Cool, can, uh, Eagle, check quickly to see if Mc, McDo can Los catch B-Ballers. Amigo, Los Siete Amigos, B-Ballers cannot fall from the top two seed. So B-Ballers and Los Siete Amigos can't fall? B-Ballers and Los Siete Amigos are locked in as okay. yeah, moving into yes. Division 6. So then McDo, I think, can't be caught either, though. Uh, McDo, Trailer Park Boys could I catch up McDo. Yeah, because you, you look at it with I, I, I think, I think McDo is the head-to-head, though. Yeah, but uh, Fighting Tigers only has eight games played, so they can finish eight and two. Yeah, there's yeah. two teams that could finish eight and two, Gold Rush and Fighting Tigers. Yep. 
So McDoug are not locked as a promoted team to the Division Six. And There's five teams that could. They're get. playing BDR this week. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, yeah. BDR is gonna win, man. Let's go. <laughs> so then, uh, the the next group of teams. So these are the teams that are not the bottom of Division Six, but they move down to the the, bo- the bottom of the playoff scene because of the the promotion. So average rules at 13, 14 is unknown talent. Scrant and Stranglers at fifteen, and Pension Plan at sixteen. So these guys are pushed down. Because we didn't want to give them a higher seating over the teams that we promoted. That because the, these the teams that were promoted w- are the top teams, Division Six. Yeah. Right? So instead of giving the top teams in Division Six to play the top teams in Division Six, yeah, the way, the way we did last. Yeah, it was a mistake. Spring, <laughs> what, winter. The, the last time what we did is, oh, you guys won your division. Now Let's play the best. You. Yeah. So instead of doing that, now you get to play teams that are somewhat weaker. Although that that's a tough playoff bracket period. But, uh, all, yeah. all the whole way across. Uh, have we ever thought about? The teams you promote and and in, in, um, in relegate. So mm-hmm. it's how many teams is that in total? Now? I'm just trying to think offhand. So four teams get promoted yeah, and six teams get relegated. Right. Okay. So because there's more teams uh, than uh, six. Yeah, than exactly. 16. But obviously, if we had an even number amount being promoted and relegated, have we ever thought about having those teams play each other in the opening playoff game and then from there the winners no, move up or the because losers because you're go down? going under the assumption that sixty is automatically weaker than six. That's not necessarily the case. The, for all we know, the the best four teams might be B Ballers, McDowell, Los City Amigos, and Fine Tigers. Yeah. Because. Yeah. The, like Division Six, we have such little information about a lot of the players because they're they're new to FPF, right? It's like North Korea. Exactly. Division Six is North Korea. It really is. The uh, yeah, remaining FBI teams what? in Division Six D. Oh, sorry, Division. So the teams getting relegated are Hurricane Sizen, fourth and twenty, NWO, seventh rounders, Fat Diablo, Sh- Sharknado. Well, for now. For now. Because Fat Diablos are going to lose to the pack and not make playoffs. That would be awesome. Uh, Trailer Park Boys uh, take up the seventh seed, then Gold Rush, uh, Le Casse Potatoes. Potato. At 10, Lama's Pajamas are at 11, Brewers at 12, Bud Knights are 13. Bud Knights. Um, Best defense of Real Bros of Simi Valley, DGC Fallen to 15, past our prime time at 16. So that's where we're at so right now. So, this is what it is now. We will have a final updated standing next week in the, in the podcast next, with the uh, official Thursday, right? Yeah, who's, who's in and who's out. For now, this is it. But, like we said, there's a lot of these teams. There's a lot of movement that's going to happen between now and next week, depending on who wins, who loses, and stuff like that. Just a reminder, of course, for those, the schedule, the dates have been set in stone since week two of January. The dates and the time windows. Yeah. Right? So, so you're going to get like a six to nine window. Exactly. You're going to play anywhere between that, but on March 23rd. Right? Exactly. And you can find that on the playoffs tab of the schedule. Playoffs? Yeah. So you have the regular season schedule. Just next to it, it says playoff tab. Click on that, and it'll show you the dates and times of uh, the games and where they'll be played. Actually, the times are still TBA. Thank TBA. You so oh. the date and the site of Sorry, where guys. the games will be played next week. Site also is TBA. Thanks, Rob. Okay. So it'll be the uh, <laughs> date of the game, and we'll find out the site and time once it's revealed next Thursday. Okay. So uh, I just want to say hi to my aunt. One job. My aunt, my aunt Bruna's watching. Hi, Aunt Bruna. Oh, hi. hi. She right. says, uh, Peas, you lost a ton of weight. Did that other guy next to you find all the weight that you lost? <laughs> 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 we who's also it? have Vince Pisano and Chad. We are related. Person? We are it's my aunt. Yes, what okay. did <laughs> Vince Pisano <laughs> wanted everyone <laughs> to talk about how pension plans shut out their opponent this no, week. Did, I did, bro. Vince Watch the show. Ago, bro. Watch the show, Vince. I know You're canceled, Dan, Vince you Pisano. Get, uh, You're canceled. Wi-Fi, Kill me, Vince uh, Pisano. Anyway. Canceled. All right, Vince. Is he like a very bad TV show? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, is Vince Pisano he's the equivalent of Firefly? He's Weekend at Bernie's the animated series. <laughs> <laughs> Firefly was a great show, by the way. Firefly was a All great right. show. It Vince Pisano was a great quarterback. Four. And then got canceled. The Games of the Week. It sounds really gay. Bro, it's not Halloween. You have to get a new sound. I'll find one. Thank you. All right, here we go. Um, you know what? You it's <laughs> week 11. Let's do all of them, but rapid fire. Okay. okay. Boop, 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 NWO Scranton Stranglers. NWO. Scranton. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick here and then have completely different picks in the article. That's fine. Yeah, so we said rapid fire. So you got both. So uh, I don't know, Scranton Stranglers. No. Not rapid <laughs> enough. Average Joe's fourth and twenty. Joe's fourth and twenty. Fourth and twenty above average. Replacement Sharknado. 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 Dirty laundry dog pound. Dog pound. Uh, Dirty laundry. Yeah. Tricky game. I say dog pound. Green monster vultures. Vultures baby. Monster. No, there's no way they're winning. I know. Are you, are you mind? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. The same thing. Gonna show up to the game. Oh, who did I pick? Goon oh, Squad, pick. TBA. <laughs> Goon Squad. Goon Squad, baby. Goon squad. Tie zero zero. Fat wow. Diablos, the pack. That should be the last game. That's the last game we'll pick. 
for that division. Uh, seventh now. rounders, zone six ballers. Five then. Diablos? Seventh rounders. Well, we know the outcome <laughs> of that game. <laughs> seventh seventh rounders is a close one. I which, okay, sorry. No, but I'm we know. The right game. No, but we know the outcome. There's no game. Which one? Seven rounders. Do we? Zone six ballers. Yes, they announced it. Yeah. Okay. Warriors, D2, the Mighty oh, before, Ducks. Before we go, <sighs> seventh rounders did post up on the Facebook group for those who want to play them. I think Sunday at 10 yeah, o'clock. The problem is the co-ed teams are going to play them. The problem is it's the St. Patrick's Day Parade. So, uh, no, yeah. the co-ed teams are going to play guys. them. It's going to be fun. Division yeah. 6 against co-ed. Yeah. I like it. Carry on. Okay. Uh, Warriors, D2, the Mighty Ducks. D2. D2. Warriors. Unknown talent, hurricane season. Hurricane season. Hurricane season. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That'll Warriors. Be a game, actually. That's a fun game. Stop. Warriors, Sharknado. We said that. Sharknado. Yeah, Sharknado. We said that. No. no Warriors no, are playing D2, oh, the Mighty Sharknado. Ducks. Oh, yeah. Warriors yeah. win that game. Warriors win that game. Pension plan, Channel 4 News Team. Ooh. Channel, Channel 4. 4. No, Channel pension 4. plan. Unknown talent. Uncanceled. Goon Squad. Uh, unknown uh, unknown talent, talent by a lot of points. And let's Nicky talk about. Nicky Fernando eats four and people. We'll, the pack. Win and you're in. Yes. Fat Diablos, the pack. Give me the pack, man. Yeah, skinny pack, pack, skinny pack, pack, pack. pack. You gotta come through this pack. Time. Fat Diablos played the game of their lives last week in a game that didn't matter because yeah. they don't watch this podcast to know which one they should have won. All right, uh, then Div Six D Bud Knights BDR. But can I tell? But nights, best, best defense. defense. Yes, sir. Dirty birds, potatoes, potatoes, Dirty birds. potatoes. Los siete amigos Brewers. Oh, the Migos, man. The uniforms yeah, sick. Siete. Yeah, Los Siete. Sick uniforms. DGC, Yamas Pajamas. DGC. The pajamas. Yamas Pajamas. Really? Pa- past our primetime, B-Ballers. 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 Real Bros of Simi Valley, South Shore Seaman. Simi Valley. Real Bros. This is a huge game for... Uh, Simi Valley cannot lose this, so... Bros. Uh, Trailer Park Boys, Gold Rush. Gold Rush. Gold Rush. Gold Rush. Then Gold Rush. immediately the next day, Gold Rush, Yamas Pajamas. Yamas, Go rush again. Yamas, pajamas. Pajamas. Fighting Tigers, Rosedale Renovations. Tigers. Fighting Tigers. Yeah. Macdo BDR. Macdo. Macdo. Uh, Le Cassé Lionhearts. This is big for the Cassé. Le Cassé. Le Cassé. Le Cassé as well. Chocolate Barracudas. Uh, see, I'll tilt your head down just to be sure. Get it out of the way. I can't see. Uh, Fighting Tigers. <laughs> tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting Tigers. Fighting Tigers. Yes. All right. So there you have it. Uh, PC article comes out one. Yes. Perfect. So tune in for that. Uh, magic words, please. Full Nelson, half Nelson, no Nelson. Good night, Jordy Nelson. There we go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Finally got one of my references. Yes. <laughs>